Today we're putting the spotlight then on Procmart. It's an online B2B marketplace. It specializes in supply chain solutions and they've raised 30 million dollars which is 250 crore rupees in an equity fund round that's been led by Infosys co-founder Nandan Nilikani's venture fund that's Fundamentum Partnership along with Wise Discovery Fund. Let's connect with Anish Popli, who's the founder and CEO at PropMarkt, uh, now joining us on the show. Thanks so much uh, for taking time out. So $30 million, take us through what exactly it will be used for. Hi, Ava. Thanks for having me in this show. So basically, this $30 million will be utilized for uh, three main uh, areas, right? For them being the international expansion. So we have recently... Uh, diversed into uh, Southeast Asia, right? We are working in Indonesia and Malaysia. So we want to strengthen our inter international business. So that's the first area that uh, money will be divided. Secondly, we want to make sure that uh, um, we are uh, we are uh, enhancing our technical capabilities. So we will be exploring the AI and the ML to make sure that our procurement is very efficient. And thirdly, it will be deployed in the strategic acquisition so basically we are working with a lot of supplier base a lot of manufacturers and distributors so we want to have the complete supply chain with us to make sure that we are providing efficient solution to our clients so that's where we'll be exploring on the strategic acquisition in some of the categories like packaging biofuels uh, uh, PPE and safety equipments And, you know, you spoke about expanding your overall portfolio. So do you have some, some sort of a timeline in terms as to when that happened and what are the acquisitions that you've zeroed in on? So uh, we are working in 20 locations in India as of now, right? And we want to basically go to around 35 locations in another 18 months, right? We are exploring more on the tier three cities, tier three industrial cities in India. So cities. Uh, Bilai, Trichy, which are basically the tier three cities, but are uh, have a lot of industrial base there, right? Uh, secondly, uh, on the question regarding uh, uh, exploring it, so we are making sure that we are ex uh, exploring the cities, and this will be all used in basically starting a new country, right? That is Vietnam. So we'll be exploring uh, in Vietnam and Southeast Asia also. Right. So, Anish, if you could break it down for us in terms of how much the overseas business will contribute to your overall revenue and how you see that pie um, of the revenue basket growing. So, if you see our uh, enterprise client base as of now, we, are, we have 70 clients, right? Out of them, 40 to 45 of them are uh, in Southeast Asia. So, we want uh, our revenue to be 20% in the next three years coming from the international market. And that's where we'll be putting and strengthening uh, our resources and putting the resources, uh, deploying the money uh, that we are raising right now. Take us through some of your client names. There are very formidable names like Cadbury, Colgate, etc. Can you walk us through how you're going to grow your client base? So in the FMCG sector, we're working with clients like Unilever, Colgate, uh, Mondelez, PepsiCo. In automobile, we are working with clients like Dana, Herman, For Asia. In pharma, we are working with Piramal Pharma, Elchem. So we are in uh, various sectors, right, uh, as I said. And um, uh, the market is huge. The manufacturing sector is uh, very large in India and is poised for growth. So with China plus one strategy kicking in, right, many of the MNCs which are exploring India as a market instead of China, so we are looking at where the market is increasing, uh, market uh, size itself is increasing and the manufacturing business itself uh, will be almost doubling itself by 2030 in India. So we have a lot to do right now. We have just uh, scratched the surface as of now. Sure, and given that, you know, technology plays a crucial role and you did speak about machine learning and AI, how are you going to really leverage that? What is the plans when it comes your inventory procurement and management to really use some of these cutting edge technologies? So as I said, I'm working across 70 enterprises. So we have a lot of data with us, what they are consuming, what are the maintenance pairs that they are consuming, right? 
we just want to make sure that we use the AI and ML to basically make it more predictive, right? So currently, the maintenance happen when the breakdown, uh, breakdown is there in the manufacturing, right? We want to make sure that we have that data and we basically uh, suggest our client, right, when to do do the maintenance. So it is more to move into predictive maintenance and basically increase their output and efficiency. That's where we'll be deploying the AI and ML. Secondly, in terms of the procurement that we are doing, right? So we are doing Pan India procurement, as I said, that we are doing across 20 cities. We'll be expanding to 35 cities in basically next 18 months. So we want to make sure that the procurement that we are doing across the cities is the efficient one. And that can happen only when we basically collect the data and make sure that the data is utilized to have uh, the efficient procurement. And let's talk financials. Your revenue surge from about 208 crores in FY23 to 625 crores. I understand you're looking to reach the 1000 crore mark. What's the timeline in terms of the top line number? So if you see in the last three years, we have grown from 100 CR to 208 CR in FY23 to 625 CI in FY24. So last year we did 625 CI. So we have been growing double uh, double or tripling our revenues over the time, right? So this this year we would uh, we are going to expand it to 1000 uh, CR ARR at the end of this year. And that's where we are working with. So the good part about us is that we have done, uh, we have been doubling our revenue, making sure that we are profitable in this journey. So that's where that we want to continue uh, in the coming years also. And how are you looking at the competitive intensity within this? I know you're in a very initial stage, but is that a worry at all? So, Avni, as I spoke, that we have just scratched the surface. The manufacturing industry is so large right now, right? And this is the sector which is not being catered by digitalization and basically uh, your AI and ML. This is, we are at very basic stage in of the manufacturing landscape that is right there. So there's a lot of scope and we think that even uh, if we have four or five competitors that will basically help us in making this market large and uh, uh, basically catering to this complete market. So frankly, right now, I'm not worried about uh, the, uh, the competitive intensity because the market is huge. The TAM itself is around uh, 20 billion dollars so and we have just started so uh, we have to make sure that we basically work efficiently and it will follow so yeah that's where we are so what's the outlook finally in terms of major disruptions you foresee in technology so the one thing is obviously uh, on the technology side uh, we have checked chat gpt uh, last year and Change the market, right? So, AI and uh, AI and ML is something that can be used very efficiently in this setup, right? With the data that you are playing with, with so many, uh, so many uh, 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 data points that you have for a manufacturing industry. Even I think so that on the procurement side of it, the efficiency can be built a much faster uh, way with coming of the technology. So that's that's where I see that. Um, there is IoT, right, that we can use for predictive maintenance, um, for making sure that uh, that we have a more output in terms of manufacturing. And the government putting a lot of a lot of efforts in manufacturing and making sure that manufacturing is flourishing in India. It is the right time to be uh, making sure that the technology is used to get the efficiency and output uh, for manufacturing uh, industries. All right, thanks for that. Time for a very quick break. Don't go anywhere, lots more lined up.